folks, welcome back for another episode of Schwartz Journey. That's right, I am back in the saddle, baby, and I am going to tackle the ladder. Yes, I've got, I'm full of spit, fire, and vinegar. Minus the vinegar, because that's actually kind of smelly. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to take a look, this is the reason, part of what got me back into it, is behold the magnificence that is Schwarvani. So it is a Telvani list, and I'm sure this has been done before, because nothing's new under the sun, but it is a item-based Schwarvani list, or uh, Telvani list. Uh, so you can see we've got 19 items, weapons, if you will, and um, I'll get into the, the why I'm going with Telvani versus something that makes a little more sense for an item deck, like a Covenant deck, but we'll get into that as we jump into the fray, but uh, that is the deck list there. I can post it in the in the, in the in the description. In fact, I guess I will, just if you want to tweak it, mess around with it. I will admit there's some stuff in here that I have not removed yet. It's only in here because on the in the account that I used to create this, I happen to have, this is embarrassing, I happen to have premiums of them, and I wanted to use my premium, so I put them in here. So where is it? The Alfie Conjurer, I think, is, is one in here. But yeah, I actually have an Alfie, I actually have a premium Alfie Conjurer, and so I put it in here just so that I could play with it. Uh, I don't know that it really necessarily makes sense here. But anyway, that is that is the deck list, and, and you will see it um, in action here momentarily. So here we go. We are playing versus, and we are in the ritual because I have not played in forever. And we are going to kick some butt. I tell you, I have a, like, 50% win rate against the AI, which anybody who knows Legends knows that if you can beat the computer at least half the time, you're going to kick the ladder's tail. That is misinformation. I apologize. It's almost the exact opposite. If you are not 99%, 98% win rate against the AI, you're probably going to get your butt kicked. All right, so here we go. We don't want that. And this is why we, I only have two copies of Swift Strike. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. All right, yeah, we'll just read. We've got plenty of low, low cost cards. There we go. Look at that. The short, 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 short negation. That's, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we'll go ahead and greet our opponent. Luck to your house. So I have this guy here. One, yes. Initially because, well, Bring one, me. I never get to see him play. Hey, all right, 33 VX giving us a little love there. Uh, Telvani Uthman, almost never see him played. There's probably good reasons for that. All right, we're up against Aggro, so we should be okay here. Hopefully we're going to find one of our Black Hand Messengers. Uh, do we use it on that? I mean, we get a we get a, we get get a a Rune Break out of it, but we don't really have any other cards to play next turn. I, I just don't want to fall behind. I'm sure there's going to be a better target for that, but at least we can throw our Dagger Fall out next turn, and we're not taking, we're not taking more damage. Um... But, uh, you know, he's pretty good for this. Our actions in here, obviously, Sorcerer's Negation, Swift Strike, which is actually a big deal for this particular deck. And, um, 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 um. Oh, like a draw, the, the one where you hit the face and it gives you the cards. It's been a while, folks. Cobwebs in the brain. What is that one called? Spoilers, 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 spoilers of war, war spoils, whatever, I don't know. All right, so we might want to, we're probably going to have to, well, no, Enjoy you know what? Life, we might fool. garden next turn. No, you know what? Shackle means we get to trade fairly, get this off the board. And we, we're going to, we're going to put him in a quandary. Oh, no, wait, so we only got blue on there, so we can't play him yet. Windkeep, we could have used you like an hour and a half ago. Jerk face. So we're gonna play I Clockwork. Smell fresh meat. Dragon. I smell and he's fresh gonna meat. want to trade. See, that's hmm. What we want, we want. Oh, there we go. Black hand messenger. Perfect. Perfect. The black hand sees all. Now we get this out there. So now next turn we can play Telvani Oathman. And we're gonna get a guard in each lane, a one-one guard, and we're gonna draw an action. Source of negation would be great. We don't really need Swift Strike right now. That's when we're trying to go for our big finale. But that's why we're that's one of the reasons why we're running Telvani instead of Covenant. I wanted Swift Strike, I wanted Snake Tooth, to, Snake Tooth Necklace, and I wanted a card like Black Hand Missile. So yeah, we're just we, we should be okay against Aggro. Oh, interesting. Aggro trades, huh? Okay. Well. Is this gonna be worth it or should we do? That's a tough call. Like, ah, boy. I mean, we're gonna take. He's gonna. He's gonna break through with that. Ah. Uh, but he's gonna die outright. 
because they're going to want the drain off the board. So we could do Tome of Alteration, which gets us two four. So we still couldn't trade into this. We could do that hit face because it won't break a rune and then throw the throne aligned on there. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I, I don't know if that's the right play or not. But, barring a silence, and silence, of course, is the bane of this deck. I mean, and, and that's the case for any really fun, cool, awesome, amazing deck that you'd run. Silence is going to be a poo-poo on that. But it doesn't look like 33VX is running a ton of that. Oh, Shield Breaker? I don't know. It always makes me nervous anytime a player plays a card. Okay, that's... Wow, look at that. So he's just going big bodies. So we will, it looks like, unless he doesn't attack, which would suck. And we could throw our Clockwork down there as well. Ooh, there's our, there's a negation. So we can do five and negation. So we're going to want to do that, I think. Is there anything we can do to help this guy? I do have the the one copy of the guard that that frees you from the shackles, uh, but um, gosh darn it. Yeah, I think because we can necromancer him back now. So we'll go ahead and use this to get rid of that. And we'll play this guy here. Obviously, he's going to trade into the 1-1 and survive. All right. I mean, Black Hand Messenger, I, I, there have been so many times where, I mean, that he is he is the difference maker. The fact that he works with Necromancer. I, I, oh, uh, public service announcement. I know Daryloth or Dar... Dar I actually, uh, sir, I do apologize. I don't... I, I know. I don't think it's Daryloth. I think I'm pretty mispronouncing that, but that's not intentional. I knew it. I was like, of course he's going to have a, a weapon to, to arm that guy with. And if he's smart, he's going to use that to trade because he doesn't die. Yeah. But we've got our Necromancer. Not something I enjoy using. Golly, day. Of course. Jeez, Louise, man. Uh, okay, that works. Um. Yeah. All right, so we might be able to shut this down. Come on, 33. You got a prophecy, I got a prophecy. We're square. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There you go. Just pass that turn. Ooh. Oh, man. Too bad he didn't break another rune. We would have got a free hit out of that. All right, so I think... Black hand hits seven one. He trades with that, and yeah, we're we're, we're going to be all right. And then we can. Well, we don't have any weapons right now, which is a little bizarre. But yeah, black hand is. So what I was saying, Daryl and Vincenzo did a. Perhaps a direct approach. Did a um so a tier list, and I don't know where they put black hand messenger, but I think especially in Telvani, he is a huge factor in a lot of wins because. He's a two to face if he kills himself. Two to a two to a creature. Right, there's a shield breaker. I was afraid. Of. Oh, is that? No, he does not have exactly. Oh, okay. He's close. We need and see that this is. Ah, uh, we needed a weapon, man. Jeez, Louise. All he has to do is top deck a. Gosh darn it. Well, here's the question. We've got. 7, 10, 11, that would get him down to 12. No, that would knock 12. Up. Well, yeah, that would get him down to 12. And we do Red Brahmin. So, I mean, obviously, if he, well, uh, I want to be able to kill him next turn. It's a risk. I understand it's a risk. But I don't really have a choice right now. I mean, we could make the trades and throw down. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's make that our trades. Power. And I don't think we have a we don't have a we do have a guard actually we, do a, we can do a guard and okay okay this is the better play discretion is a better part of valor so we get another guard down here oh that's not going to really help us ton. um if he has well i mean he could have the minotaur that has breakthrough but i will be triumphant oh that's it Welcome back to Tessel, Schwartz. Welcome back. Welcome back, isn't it? Didn't you miss this? Didn't you miss this?
I, you know, I told myself, I was like, you, you got to be prepared. You got to be prepared coming back. This, this you got to, you got to be ready for this kind of nonsense if you're going to come back to the game. So, yeah, yeah, that's. Um, I braced myself. I'm, I'm permanently clenched. You can't tell, but I am clenched right now. Every moment that I play this game, I am clenched because I know that is the kind of tomfoolery that's going to happen when I play this game. So, anywho, Vincenzo and Daryloth uh, did a tier list, and oh, oh, I already said that, but um, and I'm not sure if if they've got if they got to Blackhand Mister, but yeah. Anyway, anyway, I cover all that somehow in my in my in my crazy crazy. Uh, <laughs> That's the worst. That is the worst. I, I don't mind playing aggro. I like aggro. It's, it's straight to the point. Doesn't waste your time. But if it's one thing that ticks me off, it's a win off a top deck or exact lethal. It's just, don't do that. And as an aggro player, I make it a point to always dominate my opponent or lose. And so I have, I, I have very little tolerance for people for aggro that just barely squeak by by one turn. That just is infuriating. All right, so we're going to greet. Luck to your house. And loot is also another item that uh, well, I, I actually had in friend. here because it is... I had it in premium, just randomly drew it. But obviously it's not premium here, so I might have to swap the deck list. But it's actually nice because, like I said, the bane of this deck's existence is silence. <laughs> hey, Giggles! Hello, Giggles! Haven't seen you in a long time. What are you laughing at, Giggles, huh? You laughing at me, Giggles? Uh, do we want to keep this thing alive? Yeah, we can throw a weapon on it next. No, wait. If we throw... Well, the dagger would kill it immediately. That'll get to four, but if we hit it now, it'll kill us next turn, so... I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. The only thing, the one thing this has going for it... Spoils of War, that was the card I think about. Is people think Talvani, they don't think... Um, oh, there we go, all right, let's... Ooh, but do I... Do I go... No, because I guarantee he's going to have an Execute. I don't want to... I don't want to put him down. The idea is to put him down with a weapon or whatever, and then you get, like, five Magicka off of it. So let's, um, but if he executes it, ah, uh, do I want to tip my hand? I know he's going to execute it. Well, he would have executed the bat too, wouldn't he? All right, screw it. Let's, let's do this. We're going we're gonna to buff up our bat. Um, we don't have to worry about silence. He may run dagger or whatever it's called. Um, with, not whispers in the dark. What is it called? Okay, reverberating. Okay, so this is a, an annoying deck here. All right. Well, whatever. I'll do what I can. Uh, like I said, I don't think he's going to silence it, but if we do this, then we get two Magicka, but I don't think Magicka is going to be the issue here. I should have I should have done Spoils of War. That would have been a smart play. If he's an action deck, he, we know he's running Execute. Okay. Um... Be damned. So we, I don't think this deck is going to do does well against... Like, hardcore, greedy control. I mean, it can. There's the javelin. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of how this game is starting out in general. Let's do this. Oh, no. Let's... Death be damned. Okay. Again, no target for Black Hand Messenger. That's, that's what sucks when your opponent doesn't really want to play cards. You just... You got really nothing to do. So, anywho... Um, but yeah, I think Black Hand Messenger is, is a big, it's a big deal. Oh, come on, Shadowfan. Here, Shadowfan, 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 here, Shadowfan, Shadowfan. I mean, I've got, I've got nothing, but, but the, the goal of this deck, ideally, is to get that. Come on, now you're, now, now I get Snake Tooth, come on. Oh. This is irksome. Screw it. Trusty sword! Death Let's go! Yeah, this this is this is not going well. This is this is one of those games where you want the swift strike. But what we want is that the the swordsmith or whatever, I can't remember his name now. But the guy, the two three that buffs up your cards every uh, buffs up your your weapons every time he stays on the board. That is that's the key to this deck winning. You get him to stick two or three times, and there it goes. Wait. Oh yeah, we of course we don't get the uh the buff from it. Um, Watch yourself now. Yeah, I might just concede this one, guys, because, I mean, I know it, it, it's not about losing. Obviously, we lost to aggro. I just, I hate playing decks like this where it's just like, oh, I'm going to take my time and, um, 
Yeah, I got nothing to play. I got nothing to play. Like, this is just the yawn, yawn fest. Oh. Ancestors no, that's not interesting. We'll see if we draw anything interesting. Doesn't look like it, though. Nope. All right, we're done. I do not... Oh, I'm not... Oh, I'm just... I, sorry, folks. I, I know, I know that... You know, you want to see a, a game, but I'm not a control guy. And this is this is this is a deck that is, it plays like a control deck, it, like against aggro, and then most mid range, unless they have a bad draw. If we can if we can get off the gun and get some good bodies down there, like if we had some, our, so a lot of our two drops, our two twos, and what have you, um, we would have we would have kept going. But that was just, and it was just, it, that's a game that I just don't feel like you win. Even when you win, you lose because you, you spent 16 hours on it, and it's not fun for me. I don't I don't enjoy that. I don't mind mixing it up. I don't mind you know making trades. And again, you know we, we didn't. It wasn't a fun thing losing to that first aggro opponent. But again, the respect is there. It's done and over with by turn 11, even if it was grading. But decks like that where it's like I just kind of want to. I don't even know what he was doing, but I'm not. Yeah, there, there's a word in. Um, you know, in sports, they call it posterize, which is where, there we go, there's a two drop there. When, oh, I didn't even bother to look. Okay, that, that actually works. See, we got a bunch of low, I mean, well, it wouldn't have helped last game anyway, but so we'll greet our opponent. Yada, yada, yada. To your house. Uh, but it's called posterizing, so if you see like on a, on a, ba like a basketball facts. poster, there's a guy dunking. Okay, this is a prophecy battle mage, so we are, Fortunate that we got our our I lower cost cards the here. Of the living. Um, so you got the guy dunking, and then there's that guy that usually he's not in focus. He's yeah. not in the center of the, the thing, but he's. What are you doing? I mean, this is definitely prophecy battle mage, so that's fine because that plays right into our our stratagem. We're just taking our time. And let's see, do we ward up? Or do we Barrow Stalker? I think we just Barrow Stalker. I smell the I mean, we could ward up too, the living. but I'm, I'm not in any rush. Prophecy Battle Mage is something you just take your time with. Now see, but I am at least still playing. I'm not just like, okay, I'm going to just pick off your turn and maybe I don't know where I was going with that, but um, that's that's how I, I picture them, them talking. That's what that's all about. Okay. So you still have to trade with him. I'm not sure what that is. So I'm sorry. Jean de Brito. This is the laziest form of aggro in existence. Prophecy. There we go. Our clan is pure um, and strong. So I'm wondering. Usually I try to trade keep her around. Oh no, you know what's gonna be better? Oh, this is gonna be sweet. This will be sweet. Um he might lightning bolt it, but that'll happen in either lane. But if nothing happens, we get to throw Dwarven Armaments on her and him. And boy, howdy, are we going to be in a happy place. Now, if he does play a Charger, I will be a bit disappointed. He does not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Woohoo! Now, here's a question. Would this be... Better? Because it gives us plus... No, this is definitely better. This is definitely better. Boykity. Boykity. Alright. And this may be a case of our opponent getting bored before we do. <laughs> Just... Because Prophecy does, does not like... Does not like Drain. Does not like not being hit in the face. And we are not hitting him in the face. So it looks like Daedric Crescent and Work Wardcrafter next turn. But yeah, the idea is to get that swordsmith down there. Oh, he wants me. Yeah, see, he's trying to goad me into going face. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. What did you expect? Oh, never Friend mind. Greeting. He doesn't seem to care. He wants to get rid of the drain, <laughs> but you cannot do it, my friend, because I. Oh, do we just? No, we don't. We'll save that. 
Watch yourself now. Die, abomination. <laughs> oh, jerk face. Okay. Well, okay, I'll use this time to talk. Usually I would just skip this part of the video, but uh, I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to, to, to catch, to, to try to talk about the deck a little bit more as we wait for uh, Jean de Brito. Now, look, I, Dano gave me, a, I think it was Dano, gave me a good, like, prophecy-oriented battle mage deck. So, I, like, not every player who runs prophecy battle mage is a turd muffin, but prophecy just... It, the, the mechanic is not there to be abused. It's there to help, you know, keep the game balanced or whatever. Leaning too heavily into it, it just gives you this ginormous weakness because, as we know, prophecy being a keyword, it means that the cards are going to be subpar on their own. They're only good if you get them on prophecy. And when you come up against an opponent like myself who has been playing for more than a day and knows about prophecy battle mage or prophecy whatever, if they're not hitting you in your face, you're just going to lose over time. So instead... uh Jonah Brito is, is deciding to be a bit of a, of, a, of a turd muffin and does not want to. So we're, we're going to wait until we can do it all in one turn because he's going to have a ton of prophecies to come, prophecies to come down and we, we need to make sure we can finish off. So what we're going to do, we're going to Crucible Blacksmith Heirloom Greatsword and that should be for the win. So that'll, that'll, that'll get us uh, through this game. But yeah, anyway, you get him to stick and, and you bring him back with a Necromancer. If, if your opponent gets rid of your, your Swordsmith, you necromancer him back, you get him on the board, you get him to stick for two or three turns, accumulate You don't have to do it, like, all in one time, because your opponent's going to try to focus him down if they know what they're doing, because he can really break it. You get an heirloom greatsword with plus four on it, you know, plus the five, that's nine, because I can do math, and you're you're crazy. You're you're crazy cool. All right, so here we go. Crucible Blacksmith. Name it. I'll forge it. Grab our heirloom greatsword. And we ring out the great sword onto our gal there. We go ahead and poke. And we have exact lethal. And now granted, he could throw down some guards, or some guards could happen. But he's waiting to reconnect, so this will probably just go back to his hand. And then we have our lethal on the next turn. I guess I didn't think of that. If he's disconnecting, if he's sulking. Pee, widow, pee, pee, panch, will poo, poo, panch. Yes, I'm ridiculing you, sir. I'm ridiculing you. If you do not have the courtesy to just... I mean, like like I did. I was like, I had that game against uh, the, the last guy. I'm not interested in playing the long game. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to back out of the game and let you play against an opponent that, that is now. down with, you know, going against really slow control. So we got our first win. Our first win back... Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that when you're when you're this far down, when you're in, in rank 12, you don't go into the snake. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So, I mean, I'm I'm gonna say we would have lost against that uh, that control deck, the the mage. We would have lost ultimately. He's doing. He's gonna do the shenanigans. And anytime I played a body, he would have nuked it. So we we would have just gotten more aggravated as the, as the game went on and wasted our time. The, the aggro, that one stings. That one, that one's not a great way to start things off coming back, but, you know, that, that's going to happen. It's going to happen. And then that last one, of course, we won because we were just not dumb. Well, not dumb. We're not ignorant. That, there's a difference. Dumb is, well, I don't know. There, there's, I mean, because you got dumb, ignorant, stupid, foolish, foolhardy. There's, there's a whole gamut. All right, look, so it looks like we're, we're, the latter is aggro, and which, I guess maybe at, at this rank, that's what you expect. And like I said, I got no beef with aggro. I just, I, I want aggro to win handily. I don't want them to have exact, I don't want them to have exact lethal. That just, that's irksome. There he is, Master Swordsmith. Yeah. Cool. And here's the thing. When you know you're up against aggro, it's, it's a risky venture to, to like play him in the shadow lane to try to keep him alive. You really... Let us please. You really need to be tra uh, pl um Let's see. I can do a supplier next turn to keep him alive. I stand behind. But if you do, like, there are gonna there are times where I, like when I was practicing practicing against the AI, I would play him in the shadow lane because he's my win condition. I want him to be buffing up all these weapons this and such. But um, if you can't trade, I don't just know how to make them. Then. Or if you don't trade, you're more than likely just going to get wrecked. 
before you can do anything anyway. So it's better to use him as a trade body and hopefully you can necro him back at some point or draw another one. We do run three copies of him because he is important. So hopefully Jay does not have a way to get around our determined supplier right now. The longer the odds, okay, that's okay. And that's alive. okay as well. So an orc themed opponent. And we're going to be able to ring out Thorn Hist Mage. Next Twain. Ooh, see, we're already getting the good stuff. We're already getting the good Death stuff, folks. Must be done. I smell the we'll say thank you. I don't... The living. Thank you. I mean, he probably... If he has a silence for this, then we just... <laughs> we're going to get wrecked this turn. So if Jay does not have a silence, we're doing okay. Hey! That rye. Everything rye. Yeah. So, right, yeah, and as I was saying, I mean, obviously Covenant has a lot more synergy with weapons, but I wanted Swift Strike, I wanted Black Hand Messenger, and cards of that nature, so that is why this way, oof, that's pretty potent stuff right there. But we can't play Naha Gleave next turn. Okay, what do we do? Wait, wait, do we want to do... We'll say Black Hand. Must I do everything myself? I do a little Pokey Poke. What is this again? Is this cards get buffed? Oh, cool! It's a... I mean, not a self-harm deck, necessarily. But it's in that vein. I mean, so we're doing, we're doing great. If we can... I mean, and our health total isn't bad. I mean, he seems to be a slower-moving Orc deck. You know, these are more more lazy deck orcs, but uh, that means that he probably has some bigger stuff at the end. There's the old breakthrough. That's the only thing we're really missing with. All right, so we're going to definitely blackhand messenger this guy. I learn quickly. Draw here, the loot. The black hand sees all. Look at that, a four five loot. That's what I'm talking about, and. Do we not? Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and not agree to this. And do we want to loot it? Yeah, let's loot it. So obviously he could he could stack some stuff on this guy and take our our Nahagleave out, but we're hoping he can't shield break it. I think shield break is an action, right? What we need is a weapon right now. Give us a weapon. See, there it is. There's the... All right. Ooh, yes, yes, more of that. And th this is why I said this deck is more of a control thing. Now, if we had weapons, I would be more apt to attack. But right now, we just we don't have anything to really push. So we are having to go a little bit slow. All right, he's not going to make the trade. We're going to have to do that. There we go. Mentor's ring. Do we have? Yes. Oh, good. wait a minute. Do I want to do... put it on here? No, because we want our Black Hand Messenger to be able to do something. So I said... Do we, do we just... do we go face with it? No, we can't. We can't, we can't, because... Wait. 2, 4, 6... 17, 24. Uh... Nut buttons. Oh! But then if he dies... Crap, this is nerve-wracking. Screw it! Like I said, we're we're not a um, done. Do I just take him out? Your yeah. death will be sweet. I don't just know how to make him canker blossom. Alright. I don't know why I did that. That was kind of half one strategy, half the other. We're not we don't have lethal next turn. He's gonna take out Naha Gleave with this guy. So we're not going to be able to finish him off next turn. Yeah, so that was not smart. Do not do what I do. Did. But, I mean, at least, Jay, he's playing, I mean, like, this card, you don't really ever see play. So, I mean, like, I appreciate what, he, what he's got going on here. Even if it does look like he's going to wreck me. No, I need my swordsmith to go. They always go after the swordsmith. Leave him alone, big bully. 
May the fate smile, Kaji. For the black hand. We can bring our necro back. Or our uh, black hand messenger back. But I think Close ranks. Let nothing through. we're going to get our swords moved back out. Well, I don't know. What, what's the most... I mean, Thornhiss Mage probably is better. Well... Yeah, fine. I mean, all, all, all our we Oh, you know what? I no, we don't. We don't. I was going to say I should have done the the gal who can tutor in weapons, but we we haven't got one of her yet, so I can't bring her back. So we'll see what Jay's got to. Okay, all right. We, we're still doing okay. Okay, well we're less okay. He's going to keep himself alive for a turn. No, he's not. We have exactly five. Never mind. This was a worthy contest. Oops, don't want to do that. Alrighty. So again, he he would run in a, a, a unique or uh, you know a, a off the beaten path in terms of the aggro warrior aggro deal. So props to Jay for trying something different, and and we got it got Harry there for a second. Ah. Uh, uh, body bag. No, no, not an OTK. Um, well, I mean, technically, yes, it could be if if you get the if you get the swordsmith uh, on there long enough, and you can get like a plus eleven or twelve uh, with Swiss Strike. Yes, but it's not. I'm not trying to OTK. So we'll let him know once we once we uh, get rid of this loading screen here. Peacekeeper 12, running tribunal. Let's see what he's got going here. All right, so let's, we'll pick, greet, and then respond. All of this looks fine. And I'll save the Daedric Dagger for another time. We want another body. Do we get another body? We get, no, we get Snake Tooth Necklace. Thank you, Tessel. Jerk face, we greet. Luck to your house. We pass, we talk. Buddy bag. Honor and praise to you. Okay, let's this. Watch yourself now. And I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I don't know what <laughs> it said. Yeah, as if I was finishing a thought. I was I in my head. Okay, here we go. Time for living. Horned Helm. Make a nice little trade here. Oh, I gotta remember we're up against control, so or more than likely, yeah, it's definitely gotta be control. So I don't wanna go I gotta remember trading is I shall be your eyes and interesting. Oh boo! You can't call yourself peacekeeper if you're playing a poopy deck. Sorry, that doesn't work that way. Let's see if they can find something useful. So yeah, this is a we have to win quick or we're just gonna get stuck Found with an Alduin loot. You. Speak, citizen. Never gets old. Um So we're not I have a I have a thing when I'm up against control, I'm not gonna break a rune for you if you have a drain on the board, because that means you get your card and you're gonna get your health back. So we're just gonna you make a trade here. Well and we're going to Careful there, friend. I mean she's probably gonna get silenced, but yeah. You get one or the other. You, I'll give you a card, but you don't get to keep your. Okay, so he's going aggro on me. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, he's just trying. To, he must have the graveyard. So I mean, in theory, we definitely should be. This is when we nice to have a shackle, but um. Oh, you know, the, or the dagger, because then we could zap it. But I'm trying to think of what we could do otherwise. Necromancer could bring back a war, the ward crafter, which will allow us to trade. But we're we're up against the clock. Yeah, I think we've got three more turns, and we're done. So I will have your head. Your blood will spill. We'll go clockwork. I think we're screwed, but 
he may be able to pull it off. I swear, I was kicking the AI's butt. Oh, you greedy turd muffin. Look at that. I will keep Surface Hill's people alive. Gee, I wonder what that is. Oh, one more Magicka. One more Magicka and we could have done it. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, we could still do it next turn, I guess. Um... Do we just trade here? We could bring back. We want to bring her back if we can. Ah, that sucks. Um, yeah, because he showed he's not afraid to hit face. So we're going to go ahead and buff him up, I guess. I'm not going to poison dagger him because I, I have a feeling he's going to get removed. But are you listening to me? You okay, Donna. Yep, there we go. Surprising no one. Oh, there you go. A bunch of edicts. That's that's gotta be good for you. Uh I mean uh, let's just uh yeah, we'll just bring her back. Oh, wait. Oh, she got banished, didn't she? Ha <laughs> ha! Jerk! Jerk, jerk, jerky, jerk, jerk. No, no, there she is. Take it back. I'm sorry, peacekeeper, you're out of your... I mean, you're not exactly playing a deck that I like, but... I like... Well, I mean, he's going face, so he's not pure... Pure control. There's there's some... Some mid-rangey, I guess, tendencies. But next turn, if he puts anything down in this lane, we just zap it with our... Poison... Dagger and now, Staff of Sparks. Where was I? Oh, yes. Unless he does that. In which case, concede. I Boring. <sighs> well. <laughs> okay, so maybe I was hasty in coming back. This may be the last game I play for a while. Or the last thing that I play. Um, it's, not, it's not... I don't mind losing. I just... You, obviously, you got the same worn out... I just, I'm just surprised people just haven't moved on from from lazy garbage. Like, I mean, I, and again, no offense to, to to folks out there who are watching. You're like, I like probably Battle Mage. I just, it's the late like aggro. Unless you're in a matchup, aggro is more straight forward. There's not a lot of, you know, you, sometimes you got to decide. Hey, am I gonna am I gonna target the drain or am I gonna race the drain? How am I gonna get around the guard? Like, th there are definitely choices to make. It's not a stupid, you know, or mind dead way of going but it is very straightforward in comparison the only way you can make it lazy er, <laughs> is prophecy battle major prophecy whatever because then 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 it's just like give me the cards that i'm going to play like you summon the cards to the deck and it's an now the one thing i will say whatever the deck it was that dano gave me it wasn't pure prophecy he had a bunch of other stuff in there so i could win even if my opponent didn't go face but typical prophecy thing it's like I'm going to wait for you to attack me, and that gives me my cards. And if you don't, then I just lose. And as we saw with the one turd muffin that's running it, in that case, uh, they just have to concede or or bail out. So, um, so I mean, that wasn't a satisfying win. So, it's like, so far, I mean, we've played, what, four games, five games, and none of them have been particularly satisfying. And, you know, I, I do want to uh, bring up, there was a gentleman who came into our Discord and uh, to be fair, he didn't, he wasn't, you know, there was no no problem, no no strife or anything. This but, you know, he eventually, he kind of bailed uh, um, and said, you know, strong. there's a lot of negativity here. I came here to, you know, talk about the game and enjoy the game and 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 whatever. But, you know, there's a lot of poo-pooing going on. And I get it, you know, putting positivity out there, but... We got to be honest too, We've and, and as I told him, the the game was not left in a in a great state Die when it went into hibernation. And so there are a lot of issues. There are a lot of abused mechanics that. Interesting. Is this another? No, because that first card wasn't a prophecy. All right. Well, I mean, now we've at least got a. Um, is pure and strong. Never mind. I was going to say we've got an item in the graveyard, but that doesn't help us because we can't really bring it back. 
So it'd be interesting to see what Nightcloak is doing. This, based on where he's at the ranking and what we've seen, this kind of hod hodgepodge. I'm guessing he might be. Soldiers, report. might be a new player. How can I serve? So. Die, abomination. This is <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> we don't even have anything to necro. I mean, we can, we can. I mean, we'll just negation. Oh no, you know what? Let's do a little bit of this. That now that is kind of stupid because it means that he gets six points of damage without breaking a rune. But we can sorcerer's negation this little turd muffin here. But yeah, it's like I, I want people to be honest about the game, and, and that's I'm not here to gripe about it about the game necessarily. But oh yeah, this has definitely got to be a a, a new a new player. All right, so. I mean, golly day, we just don't have diddly squat to do. And we have in negation this, it's still a 4-5. And it's going to eat these guys up. This is just... Not... Oh, not fun. I'm going to leave those alone. We can't necro anything. Yeah, still, we haven't lost anything. So, I mean, I guess I can ward crafter. Careful there, friend. I'm just going to wait and see what he does. I, I still don't know what the heck he's, what, what, he, what he's up to. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, I think it's a, it's a new player, so he's... But, I mean, that's the thing. New players, they, they play cards that you don't typically see, and you don't necessarily prepare for it. Okay, that's another thing. So we got, we're seeing some prophecy stuff here. Okay. I hear and obey. Wheel. There's just no really good... So I can do this. Screw it. You know what? I smell the stench. And if of he changed with the bat, it, it technically was a drain for four because he didn't go four to face. And I don't know what's going on. I'll whip them into shape. Oof, that's a it's a good Good card for whatever he's playing. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this one, too. Wow. Wow. He must have crap for a hand as well. Acknowledged. So. Ah, you suck. All right. Um... Wow, that's going to hurt. Yeah, we're probably just going to die next turn. You fight like a hmm. child. Ooh, Into Martin Septum. I forgot I could have him in here. Yeah, we're going to take nine. Oh, no, we're not. Well, we're going to take Breakthrough. Well, we can do this. We can do this. That. I mean, that's just pure desperation right there, folks. I just don't want to have... get broken through. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, so Night... Nightcloak, welcome Sweet to Tessel. Happy to have you here. He's just playing... playing what he has. I'll see you dead. I'm guessing he's still building his... building his collection. We are gonna get... A ton of magicka, which would be awesome if we could survive. Like if this thing wasn't on the well, no, he's got he's got enough of a board. That, oh, there now you show. It doesn't matter. We don't have any weapons anyway. Oh, but but if we necro the bat and mentor's ring, then we can do some things. Yeah. Rise, my sir.
yeah, we'll be able to keep that alive, get rid of him. And now, in theory, Martin Septum could be a win condition. Because as it stands at the moment, don't, don't Chimera screw with me. Oh, Nightcloak, I don't want to see that. Of course, that's just enough to be golly day. Oh. Into the bush. Never mind. Taste my steel. Fight like a child. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good old black hand messenger. The black hand sees all. Um, necromancer, what can you bring back for me? Determined supplier is really the only guard we've got worth a darn. Um, I mean, giant bat doesn't really do much for us. We haven't drawn any of our good stuff. So we can do... I mean, he just gets crushed by all of them. I mean, this, this is a nasty board right here. But we need the body. No man can deny his destiny. I'm going to save the magic. Because obviously with three cards to play next turn, or actually four, because he's going to break a rune for sure. Uh, you know, we, we definitely... Oh my gosh! Jeez Louise! Oh, sometimes it's not pay to open up this game. Sometimes it just doesn't pay. You're like, great, at least my opponent's almost out of car. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Anywho! What was that? Oh. Uh, oh, boy. All the magic in the world and nothing to do with it. And he's going to be able to trade with... Uh, yeah, so there goes our win condition. <laughs> our one tiny win condition. Unless he goes face. I mean, he could go face. He's He can win next turn. Yeah, like no? Okay, play. he's going to take it slow. I'll see you yeah, we're just... This game's done. Oh. Man, we're just going to... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Will. Will. All right, look, man, so come on. Uh, so 13, 17. We'll just say a good game to get out of here, so. This I thought he was going to do it with, well, we'll give him a chance to go face and get it over with. But he's not going to do it, so we'll just concede. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not interested in you playing around for another hour and a half. So, okay. Has not been a great experience coming back on the ladder yet. Like I said, even the, even the one win we've got. Did we win two? I think we only won one, didn't we? I think we only won one. Was not a great experience. But, and, and like I was saying, you know, but you got to be honest with it. And if you're having a rough day, you're having a rough day. And, you you know, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, I, I do respect Guy. I'm trying to remember his name now. He always wore a, a hat backwards. Um, like always. He, he always had a hat on. Uh, what was it? Broke? Dead broke? You know, flat broke nerd? Dead broke nerd? Something? It was something broke nerd, I believe. But he was just he was just one of those guys no matter what. I mean, he came up with cool fun decks, but you know, he could he could just get mopped up the entire time and he just he just had a great attitude. Um, I'm a little more prickly than that. Like losing is never fun for anyone, but there, there's there's ways to lose, there's ways to win that are more fun than others. But I, I was kind of girded up for this. I think the deck is better than it's showing. I think we, we're really drawing some absolute garbage side of stuff. Like, there's there's plenty of good stuff in the deck. There really is. And the Swordsmith can do great things. There's just there's, there's lots of potential here. I've done some really fun stuff. But, uh, you know, you, you gotta, gotta, gotta draw the, you the good things. Warm sands. Luck to your house. All right, Decador, playing Covenant. I can respect that. I appreciate that. Let's see what you can do. What you're up to. Are you another weapon deck like myself? May you walk on warm yes, I understand. Sands. You want me to walk on Warm Sands? I appreciate that. I would prefer to walk on... Actually, no, I guess Warm Sands would be nice. I, I, I don't mind Warm Sands. 
this? Why am I? How? This is like the third game in a row that I've, I've had two necromancers in my hand for absolutely no good reason. Oh, game. Yeah, th this is this is just ball draw. We just call it ball draw. That's it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, interesting. Well, this is all I've got to play, so hey, there you go. I actually I could have played Shadowfen, but we're going to need him to Shadowfen whatever just got rallied, so that's going to be fun. Okay, Here's nope, that's actually done. much better. I hate to do it because you don't get to see Enchanter very often, and as a fellow Web Home deck, I, 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 I don't like being a party pooper, but I also don't like... I don't run that card for... It, it's a Mundus Stone for weapons, and I just don't... I try to keep things to minimum. If, if you notice, there is one RNG uh, element in this deck, and that is... Um, oh, sweet. All right, see, now, now the... Now the Necromancer has a purpose. I run one copy of the, what is it, Sword Harvest or whatever. It's a it's the one drop that changes every turn into a different weapon. Hole. And I have that just because You've not it seen my changes life. things up. And, oh. Interesting. I've never actually seen it done that way before. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Um, hmm. There's really no way to nuke this. Scaleless cowards. I mean, I guess we can do that. The black hand sees all. You know what? We're going to get our win condition. No, no, he could be silenced, obviously, but if he doesn't, we've got all the time in the world. And within three or four turns, he'll transform into the avatar of Akatosh. And do the avatar of Akatoshi things. My powers are okay. Involved. Well then, that's a bit of a ooh. Yeah, we want that. You I can draw a Swiss strike. Come. Negation. Negation. Okay. I stand behind my work. Um. We make our stand. Like For I said, I, I do not want to break a rune if he's got drain on the board. Because, yeah, I don't want to give him a card and have the health. So we'll see. Oh, Unstoppable Rage. Oh, good. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Squish the Wimpy. I did not play around Rage. That was dumb. That was a dumb thing on my part. When you got to remember, I always forget. Remember, if they got strength, break through, drain, clear the lane. Don't get in their way. Silent to do something, because otherwise... That could have been. A, oh, look at him! He's running the guy too. Oh, but my premium. Come on, Shay. Okay. So, not gonna help you there, my friend. I'm afraid. Gonna get that down of the way. Perhaps a direct approach. <laughs> I don't just know how to make them. You make us stand for Cyrodiil. Um. Oh, crapola. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do. Risen dead. That's not great. Um. You know what? Ah, fine, we'll do that. I was going to say, I kind of want to get the Magicka up, so I don't want to play that many cards, because I want this to trigger, but I also don't want him to get a free trade onto my Master Schwarzschmidt. I mean, he could do a whole bunch of stuff right at this point. But... Ooh, okay. Oh, I got to watch my health total. I kind of forgot about that. It'd be nice to get a weapon. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, so... Oh, hang on a second. What do I have? Spoils? We make our stand for Cyrodiil! The power of the well, hill. let's see what Spoils gives me. Oh, well, Spoils... Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, we'll see. Ooh! That is a good one. Alright, so, could we win this turn? Three... So what is this? Wait, do we... Yeah, we have enough. So that's... Fourteen... 
21, 22, 23. Dag nimmit. Dag nimmit. We can't Make win this turn. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Calm down. Hiding will not save you. Thorns and claws. <laughs> Our case I don't just this know day how to make will be mine. All right. So yeah, we'll do dwarven armaments and probably swift on this, hopefully, and swift strike. But we'll see. Does he have a way to kill this without actions? Does it look like it. Of course he does. I'm ready for anything. Boy, he's got all the stuff, doesn't he? All right, so we'll just wait then. I have you now. Um, do we go for the avatar? Yeah, we're gonna go for the avatar. You're cool. going. Okay, well, maybe not, because he's really trying to rush it down, which, I mean, is smart. Um, so he's got six, eight. If we don't play any, it's... Well, how does this work again? I'm trying to... I just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be close. Um, all the unspent magicka. So we would have 13 plus 19. That is definitely... So we, we win next turn. Unless he has a silence. If he pulls a silence for this, we're dead. Well, not necessarily. A mute would kill us, because that would get rid of our drain and our one turn. Solid okay. Awaits you. Whoa, look, at that. look at that. That's half of sparks. You can't win. Does he have... He does have charge. Crap, Ola, does he... Bow to me. I don't think he's got it. Swift strike? No, wouldn't. Okay. This we got to do the avatar. Contest. Woo! That's a fun way to win. For me, anyway. I I, I don't get. To, I've never done that on ladder before, so that was that was a good time. Uh, let's see. What? Speaking of time. All right. We're. All right. Let's see if we can uh, if we can get out of rank twelve. So usually I do like I you know this video is sponsored by, but I'm I'm just kind of easing back into it, and this has been a, a bit of a rocky start. I was hoping to be a little more peppy. Uh, you know I, yeah, a little a little more peppy, a little more whatever. But I think this is just going to be kind of me limping back into the scene. Um, I am going to still I think try to play some. Like I have a, a sleigh deck. It's not anything revolutionary. This is revolutionary. This is game changing right here. And and for right now. I, you know, nothing new under the sun. There's probably other people that did a weapon, Telvani. But for right now, as far as I know, I'm I, this is the only one that I've seen. And which means that your ace builders like K-Fluffy and, and Inu and Joe and all these other guys who just build decks that are insta-wins, they haven't built a version of this yet. So right now, this is the best version of Telvani weapon in existence. We're going to keep our Master Schwar Schwarzmith, and hopefully he will... Luck he will be able house. to stick. But like I said, admittedly, this deck is is pockmarked with cards that are not necessarily ideal Wait, for the build. Did you hear that? But they were included because in the, another version I had um, I had premium versions. Oh boy. Um, yeah, this is going to be rough because I want to I want to get him down, but I'm. Pretty sure Master me. Nodu is going to come down with a big heavy. We press on. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Well, fine. We'll, we'll play him. Just we'll get at least one charge out of him, hopefully, unless he gets executed. Is this is this that mathematic deck where it's like you you don't play anything and then one turn you just play like a thousand cards and you do crazy things. Uh, one, of you, one of you smart deck builders sent me a version of that deck, and I did not know how to play it. I am the shield of my clan. We, you almost never see this card played, and I'll this is we're now seeing me. it for like the the second time today. This is pretty cool. 
All right. Dusk Fang is not what we want. I don't just know how to make this. Daggerfall. I mean, one one charge for this guy isn't the worst. It's not the best. But it's not the worst. The worst would be zero. For reasons that I probably don't need to explain to you. But we're not in we're not in horrible Chimeric spirit oh, of the sky. That card's a pain in the ass. Ooh. Let's do this. That's all right. Take them with me. This game deserves my ire right now. Talos. All right, so we can do we Time to fight. I mean, that's a that's a crazy good combo with Divine Fervor and these guys. I mean, it's it, it works, but I think we're going to lose this one unless we can No, what we're going to do. This is kind of a duh. Um I I'm going to take a risk. Man, if only Dawn Fang, if only I had one more Magicka, that would be... I mean, we can Swiss Strike. But I don't think that's important. So if he doesn't trade into those, then this is going to be gangbusters. If he does trade, then it's not going to be as gangbustery. So what are you going to do, buddy? Are you going to trade? Playing in that lane would suck too. My blade is to a <laughs> near the lethal. Of course. Of course. It would be the. I mean, not that it matters because you made the trade. So that's fine, I guess. But. Alright, we are definitely, uh, definitely taking the hits here. Um, what do we do? What do we do? I think we've only got one supplier, so it really doesn't matter. We can't, but I mean, jeez, we need the magic, I guess. The hist yeah, this one's gonna, I mean, he's got, he's got stuff. I mean, she's gonna go away if he trades. I don't think he, is he gonna trade? I could see it going either way. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna trade. So he gets rid of our other copy of the blacksmith, which would suck, but Wait. if he doesn't trade, we've got that? some good stuff we can... Hmm. Jeez. Okay. Dead. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Scaleless um, coward. And one away from Red Brahmin. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Um. Well, we got this. Um, which keeps us alive in theory by two. We just spend one magic off of pretty much everything we need. This is on your head. And he probably has something. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no, that's it. What are you doing? Does he realize? Well, he must have another way to finish it. And I'm not going to let you do it because you wasted my time. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay. I think I've had enough fun for the day. <laughs> oh, Tessel, I hate you so much. We're going to try one more. This has just been a... Oh. Well... I, I, when I started and my whole thing with this game is I am every man. I am the, the, the middle of the raid, middle of the road gutter trash in this game. So if I really try hard and I play optimized decks, I can struggle my way up the ladder. But I am not, I have not neither, I have neither the skill nor the intuition nor the luck with any regularity. I thought, I thought, Optimist Prime here. I am Optimist Prime. 
Optimus Prime here. I thought maybe because I hadn't touched this game in a while, I hadn't gone on the ladder, that I would have a little bit better RNG. Just, just like decent card draw. Like just, you know, but situations where I'm not three turns in a row, one magic off of exactly what I need to be able to do some stuff. And to have my opponent play. Now granted, again, he made the trade, but which was smart on his part. But I mean, he played the one card that, well, not the one card, but Aside from Elliot Guardian, it's the only one that's really immune to lethal. Luck to your house. And then at the end, I had to waste my time with the whole I'm going to trade in. Like, don't be an a-hole. Come on, man. Jeez. Like, I guarantee if we were sitting across the table, you wouldn't be like, Well, let me go ahead and play my 45 cards, and then, then I'll finish you off. Like, you just don't do that. Um, do I want to take that out? Ah, uh, who cares? We're, we are more of trading than not. And Territory of Viper, we only run one copy of this because I figure with the Necromancer we can bring it back. But then you have days like today where, again, I, I've got, I, all, I seem to always have one of these guys in my hand within the first four turns. And this is the first time I've seen the Viper. It's just, it's just. All right, that's. Your blood will spill. Oh, I probably should have gained it. Gained. Yeah, that was, should have been a Galen target. But I can target the Necromancer. That'll be helpful. And we'll, we'll Viper next turn. In theory, he could throw a guard down and that would really put a crimp in my plan. But then I can Necromancer hit back eventually. Uh, oh, perfect. Perfect. Boinkity, boinkity, boinkity. Boom. Goodbye. All right. So I do want to get him down next turn, unless I have to really contest something here that Galene can actually, like this is our next turn. One of these if I don't draw anything else. Come on, man. Don't tell me that was your whole strategy. You've you got to have a backup plan. There you go. Identify All right, so he's a prophecy. That's fun. Awaiting your command. All right, so Master Swordsmith does survive that. Um, I stand behind so we'll get him in action. Hopefully he does not get executed. I mean, these, these guys really do. Uh, even, even the AI knows this is a priority target. So if he has a way to get rid of it, we know that's going to happen. But, you can always necromancer him back. Okay. Attack, attack. Great. Soldiers, report. Your order. So we can necro back the snacks. I don't just know how to make it. I will keep Or do we just want to end Kano? No. Sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. See, and this is one when you have premium pit lion, like, yes, there's a slight chance that you got that off of luck, but this is the Noxia Ra is an example of somebody Stand who fast. is in rank 12, but they are not a beginner. They have way too many premiums to be a beginner. I hear and obey. Steadfast, brothers. <laughs> Again. Acknowledge. Oh, this is so not fun. Okay. Um, I mean, we've got a... We, it's either armaments we survive with. And we survive the trade. I don't mean we survive to, to live another day, but... I don't just know how to make them. Um, I don't want him to get a favorable trade with that. He bought the grass. You could have heirloom greatsword. And then had two of them in hand, but Prepare we're right now we're just trying to stay alive and, and not doing a very good job of it. All right, Hold yeah, we're done. How can I? Serve? Uh, all right, and I was hoping to go out on a win, but unfortunately, that's just not going to happen today. So, thank you so much for watching. I do apologize. This was not a a fun, fun, silly willy. It was supposed to be. I really came in with high spirits and high hopes, and uh, we just got off on a bad foot and this guy apparently is just going to be a tool bag so I bow to your victory. hoping for a better day hoping for a better day next time but you know what are you going to do um <laughs> oh so sad so yeah um I'll post the deck list for anybody who wants to get their face kicked in <laughs> uh, you just have to laugh or you cry 
So anyway, yes. So uh, yeah, anybody who's who's looking for for high level gameplay, Daryloth, check him out. Uh, Vincenzo, he's he's kind of MIA right now, I think, or he's going to be for a while. But you can check out his channel. That's some high level gameplay. Um, there's a lot of other channels where the people playing actually can play the game very well, and they know how to build good decks. That is not my mo. If you have seen earlier videos, I get wrecked on the regular, and today was just today was an ugly day. Today was an ugly day. But tomorrow is another day. I probably won't be playing tomorrow, but it is another day. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I mean, golly day, you just... This is not how you want to be like, hey, I'm I'm coming back, but... But you know what? It shouldn't have any fanfare with it. It's not a big deal. I played the game for an hour, and I got mushed. So for any of you who have been getting mushed, I salute you. We are commiserating in this. Anyway, I will talk to you next time.